breath and watch the world. My name is Romeo Lacoste. I'm a tattoo artist in San Diego, California. I was born in uh, Montreal, Canada, and uh, I'm 24 years old. I've been an artist all my life, and when I was 17 years old, I was trying to think about what I could do as a career that would be art related. So, I, you know, being influenced by a lot of the music and stuff I listened to, I was thinking, why not tattooing? So, I tried, you know, looking into getting tattooing, and I got an apprenticeship, my first apprenticeship when I was 18, and I've been in the tattoo industry ever since. I tattoo uh, a lot of bands and artists uh, in the music industry. Um, I've worked with The Day to Remember, Of Mice and Men, Devil Wears Prada, uh, We Came as Romans, The Scarlet Drive, um, Ricky from Suffocate, uh, Woe Is Me, um, yeah, Oceano, um, a lot of bands. Um, worked with a few rappers, YG, uh, and uh, um, Dave Shapiro, who books a lot of bands and stuff too. So, um, first tattoo I ever had, I did on myself when I was like 17. Um, I was like trying out tattooing, and I was like um, 17 in high school, and I thought I was gonna be this like badass. And I was like, I was like sitting like this, like on this like chair, and I was just like did this little like skull, like kind of like squarey, like kind of etched out little skull on my hip, you know. And I was just like, thought I was like this, this coolest dude, and I went to school and I just like thought I was this badass, but now that I look back, I'm just like so embarrassed. I want to get it like covered or removed or something. Yeah. Um, I have a couple like really meaningful tattoos. I'd say the most meaningful tattoo I have, um, I have a portrait of my little brother on my arm. Um, he's like the closest person to me, so uh, yeah, this is like really, really important to me. I can see him and. Um, yeah, like, it's my little brother Mickey, and I can look down on my arm and see him there, and um, even when we're not hanging out and together, I can always, like, look down and wish that we were hanging out and stuff. Um, and I have a tattoo machine on this side of my neck. Um, it represents, like, my craft. Uh, I have a microphone on this side of my neck. Um, you know, music is just, like, the biggest inspiration, so I feel like music is, like, life. That's what it says, music is life. And then I have a drug-free tattoo on my neck, and that just kind of symbolizes that being sober to me is just like being focused, you know, and focusing on your life and um, being focused on your goals and your dreams and stuff. Um, I get tattooed by um, a couple different artists. Uh, my friend Terry uh, Rivera does my back. Um, Chris. Prem works on my arm. Um, I get tattooed by my buddy Phil also. Um, yeah, I mean, different different artists from different shops, you know, do my tattoos and I really like their work. They're really the main guys I've been getting tattooed by lately. Um, as far as my favorite shop, uh, I really, really like High Voltage. I think it's a really, really good tattoo shop. It's got a lot of solid artists who do um, tattoos of different styles and stuff. I really like having on these shops, so. My favorite style of tattooing, I would say is like neo-traditional with uh, like illustrative. Um, I really like how it's kind of like um, traditional, but it just has like a little bit more detail or more like color or more like more going on. It's more busy a little bit. Um, and illustrative too, it's just kind of like it's just kind of like a cool little twist. Um, I like Japanese and anything that's like really like neo-traditional, like that kind of style. I really like that. I think society's views on tattoos is like really greatly like loosened up for sure. Um, I mean, you watch like anything you watch nowadays, like reality TV, um, anything from you know. LA Inc, Ink Masters, all the way to Jersey Shore and everything. Everybody you see, every every show you watch, you'll see at least like one person with tattoos. So I feel like, as compared to before, whenever like if you had any tattoos, you probably wouldn't be, you know, you can be like an actor or something like that. Like nowadays, it doesn't matter. Like I feel like, even like being a doctor or a firefighter or a nurse, if you can cover them, you know, like you can still be 
almost any career or you know career option you want to pursue. So I think in society's view on tattoos is definitely are definitely pretty good right now. I think it's it's great. I mean, can't really ask for much. Tattoos is pretty mainstream. I'd say if you're thinking about getting tattooed, um, definitely think really, really hard. Um, tattoos is like really permanent unless you want to go through like getting laser removal, which is excruciatingly painful. Um, make sure you think really, really hard. But I, I'd say more importantly than knowing what you want to get, I'd say the most important thing is research the tattoo artist, make sure that the work is good quality, um, and make sure that it's a very, it's going to be a, a good tattoo and you're not going to want to get it covered up or fixed up later. Um, I've seen a lot of people who came in knowing what they want and left with a bad tattoo and later on need to get it fixed or covered up, but uh, I haven't seen somebody who may have gotten a bad tattoo that they didn't like what it was, but if it was done well, even if they didn't like it, um, they usually will keep it as long as the quality of the tattoo is really good and it's done well, very professional. That's the most important part, but also you want to think about what you want to get. That's important too. I think that's like a really interesting thing I'd say girls like seem to love guys with tattoos like it's really really weird because I feel like girls with a lot of tattoos love guys with a lot of tattoos but I feel like girls with no tattoos still like guys with a lot of tattoos so I feel like getting t guys with tattoos is pretty much like a win-win situation like girls of like all styles will like that like it's just girls just like a like a bad boy so like it's a win-win I'd say girls love it <clears throat> um, I got into tattooing bands um, when I was just finishing up my apprenticeship. Um, I was pretty involved, like in, with the music, like the local music scene. I was helping out in like, um, like the doors and stuff like that, helping out. And um, I would just like I talked to some of the bands, and I was like, hey, you know, I'm an apprentice, and you know, if you guys are looking to get tattooed, you know, I'll, you know, hook it up or whatever. And, uh, you know, I tattooed like one band. The first band I ever tattooed was uh, Oceano. And um, after that, you know, like he introduced me to like, you know, Born of Osiris and some other bands and stuff like that. And then, um, you know, and then I started like meeting other bands and then I, I hit up a few. And then like, um, I remember I tattooed like, uh, one of the biggest bands that's helped me out was um, We Came As Romans. Like I tattooed those guys. And then they introduced me to like so many bands, like, you know, um, I went on a warp tour with those guys, so like they, I just started tattooing more and more bands, and then um, yeah, and then I just racked them up. <laughs> I mean, I have a lot of respect for the guys who tattoo me. Um, I think Terry Rivera is a really good artist. Um, he does really cool paintings. He's probably gonna watch this and give me shit for it later. Um, I really like Derek Noble, I think he's got like a really sick like dark theme, I love his stuff. Um, Grime is like, he's like just insane, he's been doing like neo-traditional stuff since like before neo-traditional artists were doing it, I thought it's like really really cool. Um, I mean of course like, I really like, um, you know like, uh, Nico Hurtado's like color realism stuff, like that's just insane. Um, yeah, I mean, I really like a lot of people's, like I like a lot of artists out there. Like it's crazy with Instagram and stuff nowadays. Like it's just it's so easy to find tattoo artists, like good ones, and um, it's like so much to appreciate. I just love seeing like all the work. It's cool too because you can like go on Instagram and like see all these good artists post like their tattoo they've done for a day, and it's like really inspiring, you know, because then it just makes you want to go out and do something like really cool and impress like other people too. What would set me apart from other artists? Like I try to have like my own like unique like personality and sense of style. I feel like like there's a like uh, a stereotype for like what a tattoo artist like should be or how they should act and stuff. And I know like a lot of like tattoo artists like 
kind of have that like, you know, tough guy, um, I don't know, like trying to be like a really tough guy, like badass or something, you know, or I don't know. But um, I think of like, you know, like being really polite and being respectful and just being really friendly and like it goes a long way, you know, and I try to like, um, I don't know, I don't really listen to like, I don't know, like Slayer or whatever, you know, or skate music or punk. I listen to like, you know, I'm all I listen to really is like New Kids on the Block, Justin Bieber, and like Mariah Carey, you know, like I listen to mostly like pop and R&B and rap and stuff. So, I mean, you know, I just try to have like my own like sense of style and be like really nice to people, you know. My biggest inspiration in my life is my little brother Mickey. Um, like I mentioned before, like. He's the one I got the portrait of. Um, we were really, really tight when we were younger. Um, we grew up and uh, my dad wasn't around and we both came from like a poor family and stuff like that. And um, we just didn't really have anybody except for each other. And um, I just kind of really wanted to like make him proud. Like that was my whole goal in life was just like, I want to be something that you could look up to and just be like, wow, like so proud of like his big brother. So like. When I go out and I try to be a better artist or do something really big or take chances and make like take risks and stuff, it's because I want to impress and make my little brother proud of me. So he's my biggest inspiration. You know, I I would love to tattoo Justin Bieber. I think he, he's really cool. Um, I love his music and yeah, if I could tattoo one person in the world, it'd be Justin Bieber for sure. Like. Um, or I have to say uh, Emma Watson from Harry Potter. Yeah, she's pretty cool too. But that probably never happened. But who knows? So I'll just keep watching Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> As a tattoo artist, um, I really would like to get on a on a show pretty soon, like a TV show or something, like reality TV, um, you know, it could be a tattoo show or, or it might not be a tattoo show, but I just really want to like kind of push myself as an artist and promote myself through other forms of like, you know, like medias and stuff like that, like getting more magazines, I've been in uh, three or four magazines already, so I want to like get more tattoo magazines, I want to shoot for some shows and just keep going on tour and like, uh, you know, just keep getting my name out there. That's what I have planned. Craziest tattoo story. I love telling this story because it's so funny. Um, when I was an apprentice uh, back in Florida, this kid came in and he handed me this piece of paper and he was telling me that he wanted to get this tattoo. And I opened up the piece of paper and it was this like hand drawn design of a pot leaf. And the pot leaf was like cartoony, and he had like sunglasses on, and he had these like big ass like Nike sneakers, and he, in one hand he had like a cigar looking, I guess it was supposed to be blunt, and then in the other hand the pot leaf was like the leaves were like the arms, and it was holding like a beer can, and um, it just said on top it said stopping by to say hi, and the word hi was spelled hi. Wait, it gets better. And I was like, okay, like, um, I was like, we could do this, you know? I was like, are you sure? And he wanted to get it like right here on his chest. And he's like, his parents came with him, it was his mom and his dad. And he was like, he's like, yeah, my mom and my dad are paying for it. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah, he's like, they're so proud of me because I drew this myself. And I was just like, I was just like, okay, man. So, I mean, we did the tattoo. I should've got a picture of it. I didn't get a picture, but. I mean, I was kind of like, not really wanting to do it. I was like, you sure you want to get this? But his parents were stoked. They were just like, yeah, he drew it. Like, we're going to pay for it. <laughs> for somebody who wants to be a tattoo artist, I would say that the, um, the hype and the media can be a little bit, like, deceiving. Um, it's just like anything, you know, like being, like, a movie star or anything, like, you know, I think a lot of times kids like see tattoo artists who are successful, you know, and think that they were just like 
started off that way. You know, I don't think like a lot of times kids understand like the struggle and how hard it is to become a tattoo artist. Being a tattoo artist is not easy. Um, you know, it's learning how to draw all over again and it's like, it's a form of like, it's like, it's known as like a medical procedure. You're like, you're cutting into somebody's skin and you're doing art on a permanent, you know, permanently on somebody's body. Um, so I think like people want to understand like how hard it is. Like, um, I would definitely say like you for sure, for sure, for sure, without a doubt, most importantly, like you have to get an apprenticeship um, and get a good one too, you know what I mean? Because there's just so much in apprenticeships that you can't learn on your own. And I know like a lot of times people nowadays, like there's a lot of people like scratchers who just tattoo out of their house and don't get an apprenticeship. And like I can't stress enough like how like bad it is and how like definitely not to go that route if you're trying to be a professional tattoo artist. Um, because when you do an apprenticeship, you're learning the proper procedure on how to tattoo. Um, you're learning uh, sterilization and the like proper way of being clean and going about it and setting up breaking down and also doing a proper tattoo and not giving somebody an infection. Hey, it's Romeo Lacoste. Thanks for watching my interview on Ink and Honor. Um, if you want to get a hold of me and contact me to book an appointment for a tattoo, you can get all my contact info on www.romeolacoste.com and find me on Instagram and Twitter at, at @romeolacoste and shoot me an email and kick me and we'll get something going. Swag. This is not my